Gaming Division. Salutations! I am Cameron. I'm Welcome to Gaming Division. Today's an unboxing for Pandemic uh, State of Emergency. Look, there's a monkey on this box. Hey, guys, the monkey. This is monkey. Okay, so let's uh, do this. Um, I gotta figure out what this word hinterlands actually means because people are just throwing out games willy nilly. Because uh, apparently that's the name of the challenge that's included in this box. Um, plus an emergency event challenge, um, which actually sounds interesting. Unpredictable events make the game harder. I'm not saying the game needs to be harder. There's plenty of ways to do that, by the way. So a new variation, I'm all for. Uh, it says five new rules, seven new events. Uh, just pandemic's difficulty, quarantine, slow down the disease, and make the game easier. And there's the Superbug Challenge, which there's little pieces for, so... Oh, that's the one. I've been saying that wrong. That's the one I think you can't cure. Ha! Cha. State of emergency. Okay, so we've got a rule book. Again, super lightweight. They they managed to put everything we could ever want in eight pages. So we'll set that off. Oh, good. We have more boards. Uh, this I like a little bit better. This looks like it's designed to go on the ends of the board. Um, and let me go ahead and put it on camera. We'll go ahead and do this. Go away. Um, so now that we're looking at it on the board, uh, they have each disease isolated and being carried by some kind of animal. So I guess we have mad, mad cow, bird flu, not the colors I would choose for it. Um, uh, I don't know. What is that one? Um, what causes jaundice? Malaria? Um, and then pig flu, I guess. Swine flu. <sighs> there we go. I'm cooking with bacon now. Um, we have a cute little die. It's got two blank sides, and then it has the animal diseases there. We get these little punch-outs. For I guess these are the quarantine markers, one and two. So these are supposed to slow down uh, things. Then we got a, a baggie of goodies here. Um, it looks like they started running out of color palettes for the plastic on the ponds here. So real quick. Oh, we get a second uh, purple disease thing. I guess maybe they just wanted to make it available as a uh, as a replacement piece. But yeah, those are some really odd colors on the, the pond pieces. Maybe you can see that against the board a little bit better. Not, maybe not so much. Um, we've got these... Big uh, color disc pieces. Oh, you know what? They wanted to be able to make the purple one available even if you hadn't bought the other expansions, and I applaud that. Because we got more cubes here. Um, and we've got these green research stations, which I think are vaccine factories, if I remember reading that correctly. Uh, and we've got these little pill things. Please do not make... Game pieces that look like candy, it's just bad karma. Somebody's going to fucking pretend to swallow it or be stupid, and it's not going to be good for anyone. Um, so let's see what the cards look like. This seems like very light. Um, it looks like a lot, like really what you're buying more here is the rules and the, the hinterlands uh, more than anything. But let's break into this, and we'll see what's happening. Okay, so I want to come back to the rolls last, uh, and the events before that. Ooh, emergency events. We'll do those before that. Um, so, okay, we've got... Okay, so very similar to how the uh, the other expansion has it, we've got the, the super... Uh, I guess it's not super bug? I don't know. Um, the fifth disease uh, location. Um, we've got some bonus cards, uh, for the regional response teams for the Superbug. Um, we've got Superbug mutation cards, which I believe are specific to, uh, this version of the mutation. Um, which I guess is going to probably, I'll have to confirm, probably bump it up to, uh, to the incurable version. Um, Quarantine Hinderland cards. Um... 
in Superbook Challenge. So there are additional actions available um, on this card. So real quick, Superbug Challenge, discover a cure, uh, Superbug disease only. At any research station, discard five city cards, including at least two cities with a purple cube on them. Remove this research station from the game. Replace it with a vaccine factory and one vaccine dose. Uh, build a vaccine factory after Superbug Cure at research station. Remove it from the game. Replace it with a vaccine factory and one vaccine dose. Um, collect vaccine. Add a vaccine factory. Transfer any number of its doses to your roll card. Um, distribute best vaccine. Return one vaccine dose from your roll card to the supply to remove it. Remove all purple Superbug cubes from the city you are in. That's really interesting. I think that's that's definitely going to be a way to go. Um, the uh, quarantine hinterland actions impose quarantine if using quarantines. Uh, place a quarantine marker with its two side up. On the other side is a one. So obviously it's a countdown type thing. Um, share knowledge. Hinterland challenge only. In a hinterland space with another player, either give any city card matching the color this space to that player or take any city card of the matching color from that player. So it's kind of the researcher ability, but because um, we're looking at animal uh, uses, I guess that's what it is. Now, it's very interesting because the locations for the hinterlands are not the full areas. Like, um, it's only four cities, it looks like, for yellow and blue, five for the black, and five for red. I don't know why they did it that way, but they did it. Um, so in a hinterland space with another player, either give any city card matching the color this space to that player or take any city color, city card matching the color from that player. So it's not specific to the hinterland locations, just their colors. Um, okay, we're going to do the normal event cards first, and then we'll do the emergency events. So, uh, emergency response, select player, move his pawn with permission to the epidemic city and have him treat disease there before infections. Why? I don't... Maybe I don't get it. Um, I'll play after Epidemic, not in action. So I guess he'll cure all of them. And you don't know what, what's being infected, so I guess you're still gambling. Uh, advanced team. Until this player's next turn, ignore one outbreak. Uh, put this card in front of current player. Discard it after preventing an outbreak or when his next turn begins. Local initiative. Use only with quarantines. Place a quarantine marker in any city without one. Resource planning. Draw, look at, rearrange, and return the top four cards of the player deck. Do not mix them with your hand. Sample delivery. Uh, select a player. He may give one city card to any other player. Apply oh, hand limits after doing this. Okay, so it's like a mini researcher card. Got it. Uh, select a player. Each other player's pawn may move to the city that this player's pawn is in. So you can converge everybody for an emergency conference. Infection rumor. Uh, draw as many infection cards as the current infection rate and look at them. Put one in the infection discard pile. Turn the rest, then infect cities, drawing one fewer card. So, okay. So, if you were going to draw three, you would draw the three, get rid of one, and then play the other two. That's how I'm reading it. Uh, real quick, let's look at the emergency events, because this is interesting. Uh, CDC planes grounded. Um, play immediately when drawn. Continuous effect. So this this one stays in play. Or any other? We're gonna put all the ones that are labeled that way together because that seems like it sucks. Players cannot move by direct charter or shuttle flights or even the airlift. Uh, the event card. Put this card face up. Discard it after playing the next emergency event. Okay, that's not too bad. You can only have one emergency event in play. It seems like. Um, time runs out. Draw a player card. On future turns, the player draws three, not two, player cards. Oh, that's not good. Put this card face up. Discard after playing next turn. It, it could be good temporarily, but you don't want that forever. 
Uh, patient zero, draw one card from the infection deck bottom. Add one disease cube of this color to the this city every turn before infections. Mm-hmm. Put this card and its infection card face up. Discard the map for playing the next emergency event. Draw one card from the infection deck bottom. Add this. Add one disease cube of this color to this city every turn before infection. That's rough. Um, limited options. Reduce player's hand limit to six cards. Discards. Oh, great. Um, all right, these are non-continuous. Containment failure. Uh, when doing the next outbreak, add two, not one, disease cubes to each connected city. Oh. Oh. Oh, not good. Um, oh, you put that one face up, it lasts till the next outbreak. Um, draw, so why is that not continuous? I guess maybe it's for, oh, it's not until the next uh, contain, uh, emergency event to the next uh, specific circumstance. Uh, disease hotspot. Draw one card from the infection deck bottom. If this disease is not eradicated, add three cubes of this color to its city. Tiscar. Jeez. Uh, disease zones expand. Add one cube of every non matching color except purple to each city with different colored cubes. Uh, if this would add a fourth cube of color, do an outbreak instead. Uh, do, uh, logistics failure. Do infections twice this turn. Jeez. Uh, once if this event, uh, if the event a quiet night is played. Uh, sanitation breakdown. Move the infection rate marker forward one space. <sighs> oh man, widespread panic when doing the next outbreak. Move the outbreak marker. Forward one extra space. Ugh. I feel dirty just reading those aloud. Um, that is some nasty stuff. That is definitely a way to make the game harder without changing too much. All right. Uh, none of these have anything too crazy on them. Oh, we've got the, another medic. Hold on. Let me read that one first then. Uh, this is a super bug. Oh, okay. Hold on. So we've got three uh, specific ones. Um, the medic, this is the super bug uh, challenge only medic. Remove all cubes of one color when treating a disease. Um, automatically remove cubes of a cure disease from the city you are in. To remove super bug cubes, you must also discard a vaccine dose and prevent them from being placed here. Okay, there may be something I'm missing. Uh, veterinarian, uh, usually as a hinterlands challenge. Uh, as an action at a research station, you may move to any hinterland space. Oh, interesting. Uh, in a hinterland space, remove two cubes of uncured disease when you treat, uh, a, when you treat disease. Okay, so instead of one, you remove two. Not the medic, but it's still fairly good. Uh, colonel, use only with quarantines. Use all six quarantine markers. Uh, when you enter a city with one quarantine marker, flip it to its two side. As an action, you may discard a city card to place a quarantine marker in any city. I like him. Uh, and I, I, I'm a fan of quor- the quarantine idea, I think. Uh, I've got to look at the actual rules first. Uh, first responder. This, these are non-specific, uh, cha- or non-challenge specific characters. First responder. As an action, you may move to any city with a research station. I like that. Uh, immediately after an epidemic, you may, out of turn, move to the, the epidemic city and treat disease there before infections. Interesting. Uh, and I'm going to say when it says treat disease that it's one. So there was like an event that something that said that as well. So it might prevent an outbreak, but it's not going to like cure everything. Uh, pharmacist. As an action, reveal a city card to treat disease or distribute vaccine there. Uh, as an action, remove one cube of a cured disease from any city to the supply. Wait, what did I read wrong? As an action, reveal a city card to treat disease or distribute vaccine there. This is reveal, not discard. Um, as an 
action, remove one cube of a cured disease from any city to the supply. So he doesn't have to actually be there. Oh, so he can reveal, and it doesn't say discard, uh, but it says reveal a city card to treat disease there. So he, he's a remote guy. He actually does things in cities he's not in. Gene, that's what I was reading wrong. Gene Splicer, you may discover a cure at a research station in a city of the color being cured by turning two city cards of the cure color plus one city card each of three other standard disease colors. So instead of doing five of a kind, you do a small straight and a two pair. Um, I'd say that's pretty good. Um, combined with the dispatcher, uh, very nice indeed. Um, wow. So give me just a second. I'm going to look at uh, the rule book real quick, and we're going to look at some of these new mechanics. Okay, so I'm really impressed. They really went all out with this. I love the quarantines. They actually uh, prevent infection in the, new infections in those cities. So when you lay a two down and a, it comes up the infection pile, you flip it to a one, it goes, there's a one you can remove it. You can do that normally with up to four quarantines at once or six if the colonel's in play because um, he's got his own ability for that sort of thing. The hinterlands are actually really cleverly done. I was wrong. They're not hinterland cities, um, so it doesn't matter if there's four or five uh, there. Kind of. They're their own spaces uh, that you can actually travel to to cure um, as you're visiting the region or whatever, uh, even if it's in the middle of the ocean. Not sure that works. But if an outbreak occurs there, then uh, that outbreak will infect those areas. So four in the, in the west side, east, and uh, five in the w east side. Four in the west, five in the east. Back to you with the weather. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, okay, so that's the Hinterland Challenge. They actually include the, these, these, uh, clear discs so that you can put them on the cities so that you can recognize that those are Hinterland, uh, infection points. So, yay! Really, uh, enjoyed that. Um, let's see. The quarantine, so the, uh, the Emergency Event Challenge, I think, you've almost got to do that. Uh, it seems like a super interesting way to play the game. And they, they really took the extra mile on the Superbug Challenge because you can't treat the purple cubes anymore uh, in this version without a vaccine. Um, and you've got to make vaccine factories to produce the vaccines and then actually carry the vaccine for deployment. So those quarantines are mandatory in that version to slow down the, the, the Superbugs. Um, there's actually uh, sub-challenges for uh, the Superbug Lab Challenge. Um, and, and the win condition for the Superbug is that you have to cure all five diseases and eradicate the purple Superbug. Um, just wow. Um, so, and then you've got uh, a separate challenge for the Violent Strain Superbug. Um, and the Violent Strain doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't, draw me as much as the, the either the Superbug or the Mutation one. Um, though I am going to look into it a little bit more and see if it, it pulls me then. Um, this, this, is, this is really a lot um, going on at this point. By the third expansion, they've really blown up. There's so many different ways to play. I'm wondering if they hit a cap. and they'll, uh, That might be why they brought out... There's a dice game... Uh, there's Pandemic Legacy, which I'm actually cu really curious to play, but I want to get some rounds in with all this. So I'm going to uh, to combine the, the games and see exactly how much I can put together in order to uh, play in the most awesome, crazy way possible without it being too hard. Um, yeah, that's I think that's it for me. This has been an unboxing for... Pandemic state of emergency. Where, where, where? Until you see me next time, I am Camerai, and that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.